Hey guys, it is me, Lightning here, and today, guys, we got here a brand new makeshift plush review. And as you've seen from the title and the thumbnail, we all know what type of plush this is. This is the Dr. Septon Penny, the chicken plush. Yes, we finally actually getting this plushie, and it finally came in the mail now after, like, what, two, three months of pre-ordering. And before we actually go hop into the video, first of all, look at this brand new bag. They, the makeshift has a brand new bag, and the top, you guys, you see here, it says Penny the Chicken, so we know it's Penny the Chicken. And as you guys can see here, this is the makeshift bag. It's like a minty green. It looks really cool. And the camera looks a little different shade, but in real life, it looks a little bit different. But if you have it in real life, you know what the differences actually are. But this is it. The rare Penny the Chicken Plush. Technically, the last one to complete the set for now, but I will get to that later on in the video. But this is the plush, and now without further ado, let's go hop into the intro and go and review this plushie. So this is the plush here, the Penny the Chicken plush. When it came out, it only retailed for $30 and sadly it sold out and it's never going to come back. Let me explain that real quickly. So if you don't know anything about Makeshift, well, if you know if you know everything about Makeshift, just get anyone to see the review, just skip like 10, 20 seconds and now, and if you don't know anything about Makeshift and want to know how to actually get this, well, you sadly can't get it anymore, but I explain it so you don't miss out on any new upcoming plushies. So Makeshift is just a little comp, not, <laughs> never mind little, they're actually kind of big now, they got really big. So Makeshift is like a big company that produces plushies off popular top. And once those plushies come out, you'll be it's like they tell you about it like uh, two, three weeks before it comes out. Sometimes you give away on the Twitters. But when they do come out, the plush is only gonna be available for 21 days. After 21 days, it'll be gone forever, and you can never buy it again. They all retail for around $27 or technically $30 when it comes to tax and shipping and everything like that. But when you also do think about it, makeshift plushies sadly actually uh we're not always being 100% guaranteed of it coming out because it has to be funded. To get funded, you have to sell over 200 plushies. And then after it sells 200 plushies, it will come out. After 21 days, if it does not sell 21 plushies, you'll get refunded and the plush will never come out. So that's this little thing about makeshift. But sadly, all the Doctor Deception ones are gone forever. This is kind of the last one for the new ones. I mean, the older ones. We just have to wait for the new plushies to come out. But that's really it for the first wave, I guess you could say, that we, we all getting some skins and stuff like that. But I'll talk about that at the end of the video. But let's go and actually hop into the review now. As you guys can see, here, Penny the Chicken looks exactly how she does in the game. They did an amazing job replicating her into like a plush form. Really definitely do like it. It's obviously squishy and some good plush material. And obviously on the top, you guys can see it has a little rooster hen, little thing, little blah, 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 you know, <laughs> you know, the roosters are right there. Chickens, not roosters, chicken the way they sound. And obviously she has a little chicken feet with some printing on that. Obviously sewing is not going to be as good. Printing is really better. I do like the way they did printing down here on the little feet you know wobbling with a tiny little wobble legs and also she has two little arms on both sides that also kind of wobble both sides looking pretty good too and the whole bottom she also has a, a little tiny tail in the back too it's also good detail tier and also one little black line going up showing because this is the animatronic obviously we're not getting so far as the time of actually recording this we don't know if we're getting ourselves the jory jory gang in nice form not the destroyed animatronic form we just have to wait and see if they're actually gonna get them because this is the jory jory gang in destroyed form so far not nice as you guys can see both the eyes are all ripped out but one eye still has some wire sticking out with one little eyeball just chilling there so if you want to see how penny chicken would have looked like this is a little example of how what we could have got it's kind of silly but it's still pretty cool to think you know like the little eyebrow and everything let me just get the eyebrow up in here it's gonna be pretty hard but like that that's technically what a regular penny the chicken would have looked like but obviously it has some teeth here it got some nice sewing for actually the teeth and then you got the beak here and also in the side you guys to see all the destroyed part of the en uh, endoskeleton and the animatronic the inner so you're actually able to see with some cracks in the side being really cool and i really do love the detail there and also you guys to see the blue and green wire beside that it has the whole eyelashes and it kind of like the joey joey gang's eyes and all of them I really do like the animatronic plush uh, Penny the Chicken, I'll see in the back, and right down here it says Makeshift. And it's a really amazing plush. Definitely do think it's worth it, and it's pretty sad we're not going to be getting another Makeshift plush for at least a couple of months. I'll talk about that, you know, later on. But before we do, let's go look at the actual tag here. Let me just focus on it and hopefully it doesn't switch cameras like it always does. This says here Makeshift. This says here Penny the Chicken, only 441 ever made. So yes, it is like it reached 200% complete. And as the AI you see in the back, it came out when you could have purchased it. It was May 2022 and it finally shipped now by Glossic Entertainment, designed in Canada, Makeshift.com, with the official glittery Makeshift uh, sticker showing that it's the official makeshift product. But yes, that's really it for the whole entire plush review. We got all the different plushies when it came to the Murder Monkey, Agatha, Malak, Bierce, the Dread Duckies, also the, sorry, the, the Killer Clowns or the Clown Gremlins. We also got the Joy Joy Gang, all three of them being Lucky, uh, Lucky, 
was the name of pork chops? I forgot his name. The pig. Hang or hangry the pig. Paying the chicken. We also have the, the reaper nurse. The barely buried stage with the bear, the baby bear, the cub, and the sugar teddy, and also the mama bear plush. We really got all those plushies. Some amazing plushies. Definitely do love them all. I have a review on every single one of the plushies on my channel. If you want to go see that, look in the comments below. But we do know, guys, is we're all going to be definitely probably getting in the near future when I actually reveal the full design. The mannequin plushies being the girl and boy mannequins, most likely. And also some maybe other plushies later on. On. Like, you know, maybe uh, Doug, Doug Hauser, or maybe his kid, you know, the girl that sat for the name. Who knows? We could be getting a plushie like that. But so far, all we know that the plushies are actually being officially announced for sooner or later is going to be skins. I usually hate reskin plushies, but they did. It's it's a good chance to get the old original plushies. They're gonna be having a flamingo duck, a golden metallic uh, mallet plush, and also a skeleton. Uh, what's going on? A skeleton. What's his name? Clown Gremlin. All those are three new skins. I have a whole video on my channel up to the channel right now. I'll show at the end of the video and a little clip showing the actual... Actually, you know, at the end of the video, I'll show you guys the Agatha Plush review. And you guys can also see that I did do videos video showing you guys the images for those three upcoming makes of Plush. But as of right now, we did not get any official images or any official news about them. Right? I mean, we got official images, but we just have to wait to actually see them out whenever they do come out. So if you're inter interested in those, subscribe if you want to see more news on them. I'm definitely going to be in the Ilse review. And tell me guys in the comments below if you want to see me actually do a video of a combined review reviewing all the plushies right now for makeshift because not not including the reskins and the upcoming new captures for chapter five i guess tell me comments below what do you guys do think should i wait until all official makeshift plushies are 100 percent done and we got them all or should i review them now until we get a lot of other ones because we've been waiting a couple of months and penny the chicken was the last one we got so far so tell me comments below what do you guys rate her i rate her 10 out of 10 it's extremely game accurate really do love how it's like egg shaped and also how they finally got the tag right as somebody mentioned in the comments so pretty amazing but anyway, guys, that's me for this video. See you guys all in the next video. Also, it's pretty hard to make her stand. You just have to put a little bit back like that. To make her stand, pretty difficult, but, you know, still an amazing plush. Tell me guys in the comments below what you guys do think about this plush. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Goodbye.